Hey Slobies, welcome back to another DIY and today is going to be my last Halloween costume DIY. I'm only doing two this year, I know it's pretty sad. If you guys haven't checked out my last DIY, be sure to head over and check out my Totoro costume. That's really cute. Um, if a couple of you guys have attempted it already, then my goodness, you guys are really on top of things. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make these really cute, I guess, animal overalls? Okay, I can't decide if I look like a teddy bear or a mouse right now, so leave a comment down below letting me know what you think I look more like. Mouse or bear? Mouse or bear? This costume is really adaptable. If you just change the color of the fabric, you could be a bunny, a bear, a mouse, an elephant, whatever you want to be. But this is just the basic look of this animal overall. And we're gonna go ahead and just grab our fabrics and scissors and jump right into it. So for this costume, I'm going to use a tan colored velour, but you can totally use fleece, that works out just fine. Now I'm also going to use a loose fitting pair of shorts to create the pattern. I went ahead and I folded the shorts in half, I placed it onto a piece of paper and I traced completely around it. Now I cut out the pattern, but here's the tricky part. Notice how my pattern is about 1 foot taller and 3 inches wider. You will have to add that onto the pattern before you cut it out so that it will look bubbly when you wear it, otherwise the shorts will end up being too form fitting. Now I lay the pattern onto the fabric and I cut out 4 pieces from the same pattern. Next, taking just 2 pieces from the shorts, I place them right sides together and I sew the center front seam. Now I'm going to repeat that on the other 2 pieces of fabric. So with one side of the shorts, I fold down 1 inch on the waist and I sew straight across. With an elastic that measures about an inch shorter than the back of my waist, I'm going to feed it through the 1 inch casing that I had sewn earlier. And to keep the elastic in place, I'm just going to secure it with a loose stitch on each side. So with the other piece, I place it facing down onto the shorts and I sew up the side seams. Now the one thing you will notice when you're sewing the side seams up is that there will be an inch left over. That's actually a good thing. So if you don't see the one inch left over, I think you probably did something wrong. So we're gonna move on to the crotch and I'm just going to line the center seams up and sew right across. Moving on to the overall part, I am going to cut out two pieces of fabric that is in a trapezoid shape and I face them right sides together and I sew up the three sides. Next, I flip it inside out and at this point, you can top stitch the three sides again to give it a cleaner finish but since it's a costume, you totally don't have to. Now for the belly part, I just cut out this white belly shape from a piece of white fleece and I place it onto the overall and I adhere it with some iron-on adhesive. I just place a few pieces here and there and with my iron, I just fuse the white belly to the overall. So going back to the shorts, with the one inch that was left over from earlier, I'm going to fold it over the elastic part and then I just sew right on the edge and I repeat that on the other side. Once I flip that inside out, it's going to be nicely sewn together and I can go ahead and fold down the one inch for the rest of the waist. Now I'm going to place the overall part right on top of the shorts, right where the waist is and I sew straight across. At this point, I made the creative call to sew two more stitches because I think it gives it a cute little detail at the waist. Now moving on to these straps, I just cut out two long strips of fabric and I fold it in half and I sew up the one side. Next, I flip it inside out and I top stitch the two sides so that the straps would lay flat and this is totally up to you if you want to do this. Now at one end, I'm going to fold in the edge and sew straight across and on that same end, I will measure out my buttonholes. And since my buttons are ginormous, I just drew a one inch line. If your sewing machine has the buttonhole setting, you can go ahead and actually sew on a buttonhole or if you're just lazy, you can just cut out two slits. 
On the overalls itself, I just hand sewn the two big happy buttons onto the overalls and to finish the straps off, I just attached the end without the buttonholes to the back of the shorts. A good tip is to try this on first and pin where you would like the straps to land on the back of your shorts. Lastly, instead of hemming my shorts, I decided to sew an inch casing at the bottom of my shorts and I went ahead and I fed a piece of elastic through the casing. I butt the ends of the elastic together and I sew it to secure and I finish it off by sewing a straight line to close up everything. I decided to do this because I like how it bubble at the bottom and it just makes the shorts look a lot cuter. Now, of course, no animal costume is complete without a set of ears. So for this, I just cut out four big round ears and I place them right sides together and I sew all the way around. Next, I flip them inside out and I cut out two smaller white ears and I adhere it by using the same iron-on adhesive. To keep the ears standing up, I just feed a small piece of wire through the middle of the ears. And I finally glue the ears to a cheap black headband. And that's pretty much it. A cute little teddy bear overall costume thingy. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope that it was easy enough and I explained it well enough so that y'all can go out there and attempt this DIY. Shoot me a photo to one of my social medias using the hashtag S-L-O-A-B-N so I can check it out, retweet it, and share it with others. And for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Remember to rock on DIYers. Bye! Hey look, I'm a bear mouse texting. Dear Keebler elves, I must know, where do you hide your darn cookies? Which trunk is it? And if you don't tell me, I will make sure I will ransack the whole forest. <laughs>